Oh. Something else I wanted to look at here. Yeah, this is something I still forgot to actually fix. This is something I fixed in um, is our sub hunt air is actually set as an air to air warfare patrol. Um, this actually I did fix that, but then I that was one of the things that got caught up in the reset. Oh, I should have noticed that. Um, so add new mission. Patrol, DSW patrol active. Actually, we'll call this ASW. Um, and let's get so some things we want to do. We've got the bears. What's this? This. So assign to mission. So, so even our submarine group here is actually set to the wrong mission. Yuck. So ASW, we'll call this air. So, so a s let's zoom in here. Multiple units, assign units, ASW air. So now, hopefully. These guys will finally begin dropping sono buoys, and maybe we can actually hit something. Um, second thing to do: so add new mission, control mission, ASW surface, and what we will do: our ASW brigade over here. Signed to mission, ASW surface. Okay, so that should actually, hopefully now, um, so let's go flip over to here. Is there anything that's still sitting on the ground? Um, early warning. Um, bomb and marsh. Um, okay, so A used to be surface. So the helixes, I'm going to hold as they are. What I'll probably end up doing is creating a, hel a helix strike, A used to be strike mission. So we're going to go ahead and assign. The rest of our bear Fs to this mission. Um, I don't think we have anything else that's our maze, foxhounds. Okay, so that should be all of our units there. That is one third rule ASW surface. There is no one third rule. And then I want to create a new mission. I'm going to call it the strike mission, ASW strike. And what I would do is this is the mission I will assign our helixes to. Is going to just assign all of these guys to this mission. 
Um, their maximum distance, what is their max range? Because I don't want these guys just going off wherever they feel like it. Um, so 240 minutes at 35 nautical miles, it looks like. So what I would do is for the strike mission, we're going to leave its max distance at 50 nautical miles. So anything in that zone triggers on unknown. Flight size is single aircraft. No escorts. Okay. All right. Now, how is our our strikes going over here? So we were going. What I started to do. Okay, so this group's going to close in. What did I want to do with these fullbacks? Um, okay, those are flankers returning to base. I'm going to marshal these units just here off the coast. Um, that's our group of SU-27s. This group looks like it was the replacement, so this group has to come down and actually engage that MiG-21. Um, this group is RTB. Jammers. Oh, this. So, from BAMCON, offensive ECM. Jammers are on, I think. Alright, so our offensive ECM is on. So they hit this point there, they will begin descending. Their goal will be to take out that nuclear storage site. Um, still don't know what I'm going to do with these fullbacks. Um, it's basically, they're carrying the Russian version of JDAMs using a GLONASS, which is their version of a GPS. Um, but they're not using penetrators, so... Taking out one of these hardened targets probably is not going to be possible. But if we sent them in, they could probably go for these reactors. Sand Battalion, nuclear fuel storage site. Nuclear production center, we can definitely take that out. Research Center. So what we'll do is we'll probably order these fullbacks. What's their fuel state like? Well, they still got two hours left of fuel. But what I want to do is actually go and order these guys to... Slug Tanker automatically. I'm gonna order these guys to refuel, and the reason for that is I do want, I want these guys up for the maximum amount of time, while the rest of this force over here is kind of marshalling up.
Okay, so this group of fullbacks is now airborne. Go ahead and get them marshaled up. Um, surprisingly enough, our calibers are actually still closing. I'm honestly surprised this MiG-23 hasn't taken out that caliber yet. It may just be just outside of weapons range. Um, this one will probably get taken out. No? I can't really tell. I thought that whatever this is was angling in for it, but it doesn't look like it. So, these calibers may actually get to their targets. Not that I would be complaining if they do, because it's just pulling more aircraft back. Um, trying to save our IL-20 over here. Our jammer, however, is pretty much safe at this point. Um... At least for the moment. Um, um, whatever you are, go to max speed. <laughs> if you're not already. I mean, I doubt he's going to out. He definitely can't out this IL, you know, propeller driven aircraft. Do not outrun. <laughs> Oh, tomahawks are hitting. Yep. Looks like there's a U.S. tomahawk strike going in at Kum Kum Kumni Air Base. Yep. And we lost one of our caliber missiles. Looks like it to a gun strike. Probably gonna lose this caliber too, but oh well. This one looks like he's in the clear, nothing and angling and towards him. This MiG-23 is turning away. So, um, haven't seen anything out of that. Yep, there we go. Just lost our, our other caliber. So this one's the last one left and he may be good. Haven't seen anything out of this SA-20 in a while though. Um, Kind of wondering if we either took out his radar. Uh, emissions detected. Okay, so we are still detecting his fire control radar, but I wonder if we may even have ran, ran him out of ammo. Um. Alright, so where's our sub at? Since they don't have any ASW assets, I'm actually just going to bring this one up to Periscope Death so he'll snorkel. Don't really care if he's going to cavitate. I'm not too worried about enemy subs over here at the moment. Um... Striker aircraft are still marshalling up. Go and get the fullbacks down to the marshal area. Um, we also still have our bombers, which are all still kind of hanging out over here. Um, <coughs> um, let's see. KH-101s. Runways, mobile targets. So what I th hmm. Okay, so our IL-20 is detecting a missile contrail. 
Yeah, he's probably not going to dodge that. Yep, damn it. Russian high value aircraft destroyed. Yeah, that sucks. Um, I do want to change your doctrine, though. Um, you can ignore plot, of course, when attacking. Um, Um, one thing I really don't like is I don't understand why you have automatic firing here, but then you have engaged opportunity targets over here. To me, that sounds like they should be the same thing. Um, yeah, just go to inherit. What I'm going to actually do, though, is go to game side doctrine. And find our... This is the other thing I'm not a huge fan of, is that this whole system over here is just really, really cumbersome. You know, I can't just select multiple AA-10s. I have to select individuals, and I can't change all of them. So no automatic fire for pretty much anything. In fact, in fact why would you want to fire automatic at max range? No automatic fire. I'm going to hit stop here. Um, no automatic fire. No automatic fire. Um, actually, I, that's kind of wrong. I want you to automatic fire when it gets within 40 nautical miles. That way they'll at least still self-defend. But then I won't have to, and I won't have to quite babysit them as much. Um, okay, so once you get within 40 nautical miles, you can fire AA-10s. Almo Cs. Um... Kind of curious, what is the max range on the A10? C. So max range is 70. Um, so side doctrine. So I think what it is is I think that 40 actually is their max range. So we'll set it to within 35. Um, actually, I like 40 nautical miles, I think. Um, I don't really care about these guys firing. What I do care about is firing off my... Those are fine at 40. What I do want to watch is I don't want to be firing off my really good... I almost sees at max range. Um, you guys can fire these at 50.
I guess there's really not a whole lot of... Well, I guess there's some difference between firing its... At that, but... AA-11s... Yeah, these are these can be those are more self defense. Those are already close in missiles, so you guys can automatically fire those all you want. AA twelves. Yeah, I'll just leave those as they are. Um What I'm trying to cut down on is I really don't want to be wasting too many of my of my air to air missiles just on these random you know, I mean, really doesn't matter too much against, you know, when you're fighting MiG-21s and MiG-23s, but, you know, taking, you know, long-range pot shots, you know, typically chance to hit is very small, especially if they turn away from you. Okay, so, took out... Got revenge on our, for our IL-20... Now, do we have another IL-20 that we can actually deploy to replace it? Um, what? Plenty more SD-27s ready to go. Defensive ECM. Um, now we don't have any IL-20s, but we do have a Tu-214R, which is one of the new Russian Elant aircraft. So we'll go ahead and launch that. Uh, it looks like we actually had an IL-20 over here, but that's fine. Not too worried about it. Um... And what I want to do, mission editor, air refueling, let's push to have, so we've got nine assigned to the mission. So, okay, so three airborne at a time, that's fine. One third full. Pretty much. Um, so we'll give the rest of our force to the marshal. So I think by this point, pretty much everything available that we had should have been airborne now. At least anything that was able to, to launch at this point for strike missions. Alright, so caliber missile impacted the SA-2 battalion. Nice. So at least one of those three missiles that we had going down in this direction hit its target and this one here should actually hit his target so we're good um although what i forgot about when i was doing the strike is that i have a bunch of missiles over here runways and land targets is i have a bunch of as4s and kh101 armed missiles over here they don't have penetrators, but you know, we can probably start on assigning some of these bombers. What I'll probably do, let's think about this. What do we have for targets? Let's go ahead and stop here. What do we have for targets over here? I'll probably launch missiles at the... So power station... Um, hard and underground bunker, defense command HQ, underground bunker, um, all right, so radars, <coughs> excuse me, um, so what I think I want to do 
is probably launch a cruise missile strike at... Probably launch cruise missiles at the SAMs. Although that's probably overkill. Um, what's the strike range of... So... What's our fencer strike range? They've got basically what amounts to three hours of flying time. And I don't think the SU-27 can actually refuel. Oh no, it can probe refuel. Oh, that's cool. Um, so only really the SU-27 can't aerial refuel. Um, we're times 24 OFAB. Um, times 18, times 24. Nope, that's the wrong one. Looking for OFAB 250. OFAB 250, 270. Wow, how many different loadouts is there? Um, so high, low, high. Really just depends on the mission profile. Um, but it looks like it's about, f let's say, let's assume. What's their altitude? Their altitude is at 36,000, so they're at high altitude, so they've got about, say, 480 nautical miles. So, that does, in theory, make it so we can strike with our targets over here. Pretty much means we can hit everything in Korea, basically, without having to worry about refueling, assuming that we don't have to get into any dogfights while we're doing it. Um, so, okay, so we're going to take out that bunker. Um, what do we have that's got penetrators? Um, those are frags, or no, general purpose bombs. These are guided bombs. And actually, you know, we can actually, if we choose to, actually probably hit some of these air bases. I mean, those are probably, can probably consider targets for us. Um... That was the wrong button. Map settings. Illumination vectors. Why are all those turned on? Targeting vectors. There we go. Much, much better. <laughs> um, This is where my unfamiliarity a little bit with uh, Russian weaponry comes into mind. I could just do a bomber strike. Um, and that may be the best way to do. Send in the bombers first. I really want to take out the nuclear production sites. You know, I don't really care if, you know, um, they have aircraft left at the end of this. Um, so what I'm going to do is probably assign my bombers... To probably kill some of the... I'm going to probably assign AS4s. No. No, they can't hit mobile units anyway. Um, where's a blackjack? H101 probably can't hit mobile units either. No, no, K 101 can't hit mobile units. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably use my... 
other than aircraft with penetrators, I'm going to use my fighters to go in and basically hit SAM sites. Um, and then that'll hopefully open the way for my cruise missiles to come in and actually hit the, um, the actual nuclear re storage sites and all of that. Um, okay, so they have closed down. So orders are to attack that. Um, allocate one bomb a piece, and you're good. Um, so. TVEO, these are not penetrating warheads. Um, general purpose of bombs. Um, what I'll probably end up doing then is actually launching some of these ones with just general purpose bombs at 